I dropped this plane, nose first, onto the concrete floor of my shop. And what that did is it broke a piece out of the sole right behind the blade. And I made a duct tape style repair on it with epoxy and it held, but I don't have a lot of faith in it. So I'm gonna try something that's just a bit more permanent. And that's to add a sheet of stainless steel to the sole. And what I have for that is a kick plate that you'd normally see at the bottom of a door. And I'm positioning the plane in the middle, away from the edges and away from any of the holes that are punched in it as well. This material is sheared to cut it and also those holes are punched through. And anywhere that that happens, there's a small amount of distortion. And while that's perfectly acceptable for a kick plate, it's not good for the sole of a plane. The critical thing is the opening where the blade sticks through the sole, and I need to be able to cut that out cleanly. So I'm gonna do that first before I do anything else. There are different grades of stainless steel, and some are very hard, and some are fairly soft. And I think that this one is somewhere in between. It took a while to get the hole cut cleanly and looking good because that's important as well. But I'm happy with the results and so I can cut out the rest of the sole. Now we're gonna move on to the tricky part. And that's actually removing some material from the base of the plane. The stainless steel that I'm using is 1 16th of an inch thick. And really I should remove that much from the base of the plane as well. But I know that I won't be able to go that deep because there are parts of this plane that are very thin.
So the machining of the bottom of the plane took longer than I'm showing here, of course. And I wore out two router bits doing it, but those were ones that I really didn't need. And while the results are not pretty, it is as flat as I can possibly make it with the stuff that I had to work with. To fasten the new sole in place, I'm gonna be using high strength epoxy. I'm gonna spread it liberally so I get good contact with the rest of the plane and then leave that to set overnight. The next day I could clean up the base once again with the 2x72 belt clamped down to my table saw workbench here. And on the inside of the plane where the blade sticks through the base, I need to do some filing in there. First of all, to reduce the thickness of the stainless steel on that edge, and also to flatten everything up. The area behind the blade where the uh, cast iron chipped out is completely filled with epoxy. And then with all that fun stuff done, I can get the thing put back together and try it out. I'm not going to lie, it took several hours to do this, and I really don't think the plane was worth it. But in the end, I've got something that actually looks good and works well. I have absolute faith in this repair, unlike the first one that I did.